Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Gross. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our ultra bone and muscle support system. It's minerals. It's if you look at the back of it, it's it's a slew of minerals that we put together. And why? Well, a number of reasons. One, are we dealing with mineral deficiencies in this country or around the world? If you're looking at commercial farming, truck farming, for the foods that we eat, when we first plant into soil, and let's, let's just go organic, just for the sake of argument here. And we first plant into rich, dark soil. And we're planting all these vegetables and herbs and fruit. Well, every time we plant, we deplete, we take minerals from the soil. Well, that's okay. We fertilize. Well, if it's a commercial operation that doesn't care about the word organic, they take out 114 minerals from the soil to produce the crop, and they only put back four. Hmm. Well, they put back the four, it's going to make the plant grow, and broccoli will look like broccoli, and tomatoes will look like tomatoes, but they're going to be depleted of many of the minerals and trace minerals that your body needs for what? Why do we need minerals? Why do we need these salts? In, in some, some cases, metals, metal salts. Why do we need them? Well, I don't know if you remember a tape that circulated many, many years ago called Dead Doctors Don't Lie. And the, the doctor that did that report he was mostly right in that without appropriate minerals, and by that, all of the minerals that we get from the earth, from the water, well, we're, <laughs> we're depleting the water as well. And we're replacing, in some cases, with other types of minerals that aren't necessarily promoting health. But without those minerals, we don't take up vitamins, we don't take up nutrients, our enzymes don't work. We don't utilize B vitamins, we, we, we don't process things. Furthermore, our musculoskeletal system, in particular our, our skeletal system, is made up of minerals, not just calcium. Many, many minerals, it was just calcium, we'd, we'd break like China. You just crumble into little pieces so easy. No, we're made from a large matrix of many, many minerals, including our blood, including our connective tissue. So if we're depleted, we increase our risk for fractures. We increase our risk for tendon injuries. We increase our risk for poor muscle development. And we sure will not develop good lean muscle mass if we don't have appropriate minerals. If we work out, and we should, we should be working out at minimum three days a week for at least 35 or 40 minutes. Oh, Doc, I don't have time. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have time. If not, you make time. You're worth it. If you're working out, and putting your body through its paces, you're spending your mineral reserves. And your body will not heal appropriately if you're not replenishing. Well, I drink a sports drink. Congratulations. Now you've taken in enough sugar to give a horse diabetes. That's not what you want. That's not how to do it. How you want to do it is to make sure that you're eating extremely healthy diet, organic foods as much as you possibly can. Please, please, please support our organic farmers, buy organic foods. Why well, don't which know which one is and which one isn't? Ask. Ask the produce people who know and they'll tell you. And supplement. If you're gonna work on a regular basis, if you if you're serious about your health, 
yes, our multivitamins, all of them, have a good mineral complex in them. But if you start getting very serious about this, and especially if you're reaching my age where there's just a little bit of snow on top, you know, you have to worry about that. Not just women in osteoporosis, men too. I'm seeing bone loss, but I'm seeing bone loss in women in their 20s in my office. I'm starting to see the skeletal deficits. You know, a lot of it has to do with inactivity, but also a lot of it has to do with poor diet. And even under the best of diets, there's deficiencies. So, if you think you need this, and you probably do, go ahead and give it a try. See if it makes a difference. What will you notice? Well, you'll notice that you're not as achy, and you'll notice that you recover faster when you work out. You'll notice that your bones feel better. In other words, your joints feel better. You can move more freely. That's kind of the things you'll notice as you replenish the, the, the mineral aspects. But the other thing you'll, you'll notice is that your overall energy will increase. You'll notice that your entire rhythm your bowel rhythm, your motion rhythm, your sleep rhythm, all of these different things will improve. I hope you'll give it a try. If you have questions, there's a spot on our website to post them. I look forward to answering all your questions. There's a chance I'll be in a city near you one of these days soon. And I look forward to addressing those questions directly. Thanks for watching. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.